everybody. This is Brenda, Be Balanced Art here. Once again, we're visiting with my dear friend, Evelyn. She is going to be doing what kind of pour, Evelyn? A rec ring pour. Ah, a rec -a ring All right. Um, take it away, Evelyn. Okay. Today, I'm going to be using Arteza Yellow Green, Arteza Persian Blue, Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash, Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash, Deco Art Sapphire, that's Extreme Sheen. Oh, it's beautiful. And then Art Mart Cerulean Blue Hue. And those are the colors, and I have them pre-mixed. These out of the way. And I've got today... It's something new to me. I'm usually doing the uh, Dutch pours, but I have mixed the paints really thick for me. This is the consistency Brenda usually uses in her pours, which are a, a small mound to disappear. And let's go put them in the cup and see what how it turns out. Am I pouring medium today it's also kind of new to me I have used a little bit of Floetrol a little bit of gloss medium and glue all almost glue all which is something I normally don't use and you chose the clear glue all instead of the white glue all correct correct um I have been told that by using the glue all, that my rings will stay more, they won't blend. Ah, to keep solid rings. Yes. During the uh, tilting. Um, because I don't want these colors to blend, I want them to sit next to one another. Much better once I remove that. It's going to be just a little bit, I'll try to speed this up to pour. Take your time. Everybody knows art is not something you can rush. Isn't that blue beautiful? It's so beautiful. <laughs> I think that's Brenda's favorite color. It is. I love that sapphire blue. You said it's deco art. Yes, deco art, sapphire blue, extreme sheen. That's why I like it so much. And this yellow oh. green is just stunning. Stunningly beautiful. I like all the colors. The uh the purple looks a little bit like dioxazine that I'm used to working with. Um, it's a deep, rich purple. But all these colors are very lovely. But that uh, sapphire blue is definitely my favorite. But you know, I'm I'm You're a blue gal. To blue. <laughs> I'm a blue gal. Well, I am actually stealing this idea, this color scheme, minus the black, from Pour Your Heart Out. I'm not sure of the lady's name who does the pour your heart out. I believe it's Julie, but I don't think she says her last name. Uh, she did a wrecked ring with these colors or similar colors to this. And I fell in love. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've got to do one in the blue color scheme. It just outstandingly beautiful colors. Um, and the key to getting a good ring pour is to uh, have dark, light, dark, light. You don't want your colors too similar in color next to one another because then it just kind of, you can't see the rings. Yeah, they just blend all together to the eye. Yes. So we want to make sure that we have... Sorry, just peeking um, inside your cup. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. And another key is to make have your paints the same consistency. I think, I think I'm going to end up end it with the black because I know the black is going to probably be the last color in the cup. It's going to be the color that goes off the canvas the most. So that's true. Yeah. And my black is sinking. I don't know why, but that's okay. So let us pour. I think I, I know I have more than enough. Okay. 
Now I'm going to have to stand up for this one. I always pour my paint sitting down. Uh, that way I can kind of watch close of what it's going in the cup. Yes, the cup is very pretty. Don't mind me, just do what you need to do. But so far, that's coming out gorgeous. I'm trying to stay out of your way by you are fine. keeping it in frame. I think I'm traveling a little. I'm not in the center anymore, but that's okay. I'm going kind of slow because I want my rings to be de defined. Is that a little bit party blue? That green came out really pretty with that black also. I think I may have put just a tad too much black in. But that uh, extreme sheen, I'm looking at coming out of the cup and everything has got that sheen in it. Yeah, I got way too much paint. I'm not going to have to tilt this at all. Okay, now to wreck it. And I'm going to do a Molly from Molly Artistry and do circles. I know it doesn't look like much now. Once I start stretching it out, it should open this up. Let's tilt this baby and see what I get here. And I have a lot of paint. So I'm going to be tilting a lot of paint off of here. Only because I, I overdid the paint. And I want to open those rings up. And I'm taking it back to the center before I tilt in a different direction. That black nice. must be color shift to bronze. Yeah, and it, it's kind of taken over my painting. The blues have kind of got lost next to the black. But it's pretty. It is, and the green down here in the corner is holding up really well. When it dries after you seal it, it'll make a big difference, too. Your colors are going to pop back out, don't you think? I hope so. It said the black is kind of taking over my painting, but, you know, this is art, and this is fluid art, and you never quite know, I'm sorry, no, don't. what you're going to get whenever you, you do a pour, and that's the fun part, because it's always a little bit of a surprise. Try to open that up a little bit. Your center is still gorgeous.
those all my pretty green. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. Sorry. Don't be. I don't want to hit your. I don't want to hit your camera with my butt <laughs> with the painting. Yeah. I understand. I think that's about it. Except I'm gonna cover up my my <laughs> fingerprint. <laughs> Come on, baby. Cover up that fingerprint. As I said, I think I had a little too much uh, paint, and I think I had a little, I shouldn't have put the black in. The black kind of took over. Come on, I know you got the paint on there. There you go. I still have a little white spot on my corners, where my fingers were. So I'm taking a little bit of the paint, touching the corners, and I think that's about it. Yeah, that center is still very pretty. You almost have cloud effects. You do have cloud effects here. Yes. That's not what the effect I had originally gone for, but... Uh, it's still a beautiful look. Yes. It is very cool. Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, good. Good. So, Thank you for filming and uh, letting me share. Uh, I will definitely try this again. Well, thank you for doing this demonstration for me. I really appreciate it. And thank you for coming to Be Balanced Art and welcoming me into your home to film. Thank you. And everybody, don't forget, never go to bed angry. Tell everybody in the house how much you love them before bed. And hit that like, subscribe button at if you like this video. And don't forget to comment. Alright everybody, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>